And that made me really sad because I spent quite a lot of money on this procedure and I felt like a failure. I felt bad. Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? Welcome to another Cutting the Caboose. And in this one I'm going to be talking about my mini gastric bypass. Kind of again, but I'm getting quite a few questions from people asking me why I chose the mini gastric bypass over a regular gastric bypass or the traditional gastric bypass. Why didn't I go with a sleeve? Why didn't I go with a gastric band? And how did I choose my surgeon? So I'm figuring it's a good time to answer some of these questions right now. Now before we get into it, if you're interested in this sort of content, if you're interested in more about my story, how I lost 18 stone, if you, if you want to know more about this then hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell and you'll be kept informed of all of the stuff I put out. So let's get straight into it. Why did I choose the mini gastric bypass? Okay, many years ago I had a gastric band fitted and now at the time everyone was talking about the gastric band as the, you know, the, the best way to lose weight. It was an excellent approach and the results seemed good and I, and I thought so too and I had a gastric band fitted. Long story short it was awful. It never really worked for me properly. It just slowed down what I could eat. It made me uncomfortable. It made me miserable. If I adjusted it just tight enough I couldn't eat anything and if it was like soups only and if I opened it up it had no effect whatsoever. It just made me unhappy. It didn't help with the weight loss at all. Initially it helped because I just couldn't eat anything but once I'd settled into things it had no benefit. And that made me really sad because I spent quite a lot of money on this procedure and I felt like a failure. I felt bad because the band hadn't worked for me. I felt like it was my fault. And it turns out I've done some research since, well, in fact, at the time. And I found out that actually that's very common. The, the gastric band doesn't work for, I think, more people than it works for. It's not a particularly good procedure. If it works for you, great. But, you know, there's a lot of people it doesn't work for. And I think long term, it's now been proven to be statistically about the same as joining a slimming class or something for the same period of time. So that's not good. And I felt awful about this. But a friend of mine had had a gastric bypass and she lost an incredible amount of weight and looked fantastic. But at the time she had kind of lost too much weight and she'd lost some of her hair. If you know my background, you know that for me hair loss was a really big deal. I was nearly bald for quite a long time and I've had hair transplants to put that right. So that made me scared of the gastric bypass. So I'd kind of put that idea behind me. So I was at the time, I was in America, it was another, I was in at Disney World and yet again I hadn't managed to lose the weight that I promised myself I would and I was really down about it. So I decided I did, I was going to have the mini, have the, the gastric band taken out and but I was going to perhaps go for a sleeve or I was going to do something different. I was a firm believer in, you know, stop doing what doesn't work, try something new. And I, you've heard me say this many times in, you know, in the videos I do. And so I began researching what options were available to me. And at the time I was thinking of going for a sleeve, 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 which would basically do the same thing as a gastric band, but without the, without the restriction, it would just control my appetite which seemed ideal. And it was during this process of research that I came across a fairly new procedure called the mini gastric bypass. Now, initially I thought mini, that sounds like a light option, you know, like a balloon or something. That doesn't sound very good, but it's at least as effective as a, a root NY, a root NY gastric bypass, the more traditional bypass. And in most cases, more effective. It's reversible, it's adjustable. It has less complications than a gastric bypass. It's a shorter, easier procedure to carry out with a quicker recovery time. It's a little less expensive, although not by that very much. And it's basically on its way to becoming the gold standard, the best way, the best bariatric surgery procedure that you can have. Furthermore, the surgeon that I had that I had discovered, Dr. Christa Byrne, who operates out of Belgium, has a phenomenal record for performing this procedure. He's done thousands of them and his success rate is, is amazing. So that quickly became very interesting to me. And I, I, I researched some more and I spent quite a few weeks googling and finding out reading on forums and I, I realized that it was it was the best procedure for me because it would help me lose weight it's a, it's like the best of a sleeve and a bypass combined in one procedure it um, limits your appetite it limits the amount of food you can physically eat even if you try to self sabotage it, it bypasses your intestines so a lot of the food that you eat doesn't get processed but also it doesn't have the side effects that a gastric bypass has you can eat pretty much anything in moderation and be absolutely Absolutely fine. The tub of ice cream is still going to ruin me, but you know, in most cases, I actually feel like I have a normal life now. Apart from the bathroom visits, that takes a while to get to settle down. <laughs> 
That's another story. So what's the catch? Why isn't everybody having this procedure? Because it's amazing, or so it seems. Well, I did discover that one of the reasons that people don't are put off by it, there was, and to some degree still is, a perceived risk of acid. Uh, because of the way your stomach is adjusted and your stomach still produces acid, which it doesn't do with some other procedures, there's a risk that acid will come back into your stomach and give you really big, bad acid reflux. You know, many people are prescribing anti-acid pills, quite strong ones, with the procedure. So was of concern. No, but then it's a reversible procedure, I thought, so worst case scenario, I can always have it undone again and everything is fine. So I booked to have the procedure in Belgium in January 2017 and I have to be honest, it was incredible. It turns out that that risk of, of reflux, all the surgeons, there aren't that many in the world who perform this procedure, but all of the ones who do, do not encounter that problem. They found a way of performing the procedure which mitigates that risk. And as far as I can tell, nobody has that acid problem problem really. I have it a little bit, but then I used to have bad acid if I ate a bad curry. I think I've had acid burn, you know, um, stomach burn, you know, when you feel acid about three times in the last 18 months and take a couple of rennies and it seems to settle it fairly quickly. So that's perhaps a little more than I had in the past, where it was maybe once or twice a year, but you know, it's, it's really nothing. And it's always been because I've eaten the wrong things. You know, it's always never because I don't know why it's because I've eaten just too much food. I've had a curry and I've had something, you know, that's quite acidy and you know, I chose the that particular surgeon i did my due diligence i he's been operating for years and years and years he's got a huge amount of positive feedback his results speak for themselves and so that's why i chose dr krista burn at the b surgery clinic in belgium i do wonder why why more people aren't having it and i think it's just because there's no show people just aren't aware of the procedure yet most people are still going for the ruin why the older traditional gastric bypass because surgeons know how to do it there there isn't that much of a cost difference, so there's not really any incentive to learn this technically simpler procedure, I guess. People like people don't like change, right? They do what they do. I get that. And so maybe that's, you know, because I get asked, what's it, you know, people are always asking me, they've heard of a gastric bypass, but they haven't heard of a mini gastric bypass. I was in the same position. It was just through, through doing research, I discovered that it's probably the best procedure money can buy at the moment. So that's pretty much it. That is why I chose a mini gastric bypass over a gastric bypass, over a balloon, over all all the other procedures at the moment just because it seems to offer the least risks with the best results and that's been borne out by my own results now admit admittedly i also go to the gym many times a week eight or nine times a week i'm in the gym i do cardio i do strength training uh, i train pretty hard the all the surgeons who worked on me have all agreed that that's why i'm getting such great results because i'm not just relying on the, the surgery to do its work for me which does work by the way but if you combine that with really pushing yourself hard in the gym i found this whole new life of I'm loving the gym now you know you combine those two things and oh my gosh it's life-changing just the surgery is life-changing but you put in some activity some active time into so there you go that is my little why I chose a mini gastric bypass and why I chose Dr. Krista Byrne at the B surgery clinic in Belgium I hope you find this useful I hope this answers many of the questions that I get sent if you are thinking of a bariatric procedure I would strongly recommend this particular procedure However, as I've said before, weigh up all your options. Don't jump into it. There are people that surgery doesn't work for. And I've done a, a recent interview with Sally Byrne, the link will be popping up somewhere right now, where we cover the triggers that cause obesity, why you have a, a problem with food. And it's probably worth spending some time to, to figure that out first before you jump in and spend thousands on, on surgery. I didn't, but I was pretty sure of myself already. But if you're still in the early stages, it can't harm, I don't think to just you know explore all your options first but do something act as i've said before don't put it off until next week for next year 10 years down the road or you'll end up like me and you'll spend 30 years of the best years of your life being morbidly obese and thoroughly miserable by it all so don't do that there you go i hope this was useful to you as always please like comment share subscribe dislike i love all your engagement i love your comments and hey your hate comments are funny too because they make me have more content and popping up on the left will be another video that you may be interested in and my most recent video there you go and thank you so much i will see you in the very next show thank you so much for watching i love you so much bye bye